Let me show you an easy way to get all your products into the whatnot inventory so you don't have to like manually create a product every single time. Basically what you're gonna do is upload all of your products using a CSV file. Let me show you how to do that. I'll put the link down below of what they'll send you. This is right from whatnot. This is a template in Google Docs and this is what it'll look like when you open it up. When you open the template up, this is basically a way for you to input all your data. The document they give you, you won't be able to add anything to it. So you have to go file and you have to do make a copy. Now that's gonna make a copy on your drive. You can name it whatever you want. And now you can start editing that copy basically. So they do all the work for you of giving you a nice template and everything, which is super nice. And now you can see we can now edit this. So if we, this is a nice example up here and you can change it, but I'll keep it there. I'll work you th through how you can do this. Say we're selling something in the storage unit in real estate sales with you right there. I click on that. I do that all the time. Subcategory. Let's say it's a garage sale, so it's a random item. And let's say it is headphone. Same thing like a pair of headphones I got. Now you're gonna put a description of what type of headphones they, they are. And I'm just gonna say new headphones because this is an example. You put whatever example you want in there. And you put quantity, you can do the buy it now or auction. You can have all the examples of what you wanna do right here. So you can instantly choose auction, say it's buy it now. And I wanna put that for $20. Now this is a great way to preload all of the weights and everything into your sales, into your inventory before you even start selling. So you're gonna have to weigh how much that product weighs and then select here, say so it weighs a pound and if it has batteries and such in it as well. So basically you're getting all that information in one spot instead of having to mainly do this per. Condition is for sports cards, you don't have to worry about that and you don't have to put this U you could put an image through a Google Drive or such if you have all your images of your products already, but I'll show you what I do instead as I like to take the photos in the app. So basically you're gonna do this for all your products that you have and you can just keep going down the spreadsheet. So instead of manually having to make every single product a, a listing for it, you can quickly just go through, you can search up, this is books, you can even type in this box your books. I can choose the subcategory, what type of book it is. It is a graphic novel. You type it in, like you just go through and do everything in one area. And once you've done that, the next question is how do you get this to whatnot? So what you do is go up to file on the top left, then you go download right here, and then you go, and then you go to CSV file right here. You click download, then you're gonna go to your download folder. You're gonna go back to whatnot and you're gonna click on this cloud right here. That's gonna open it up and you're just gonna drag in that file that you just downloaded and then hit import. So now you can preload every product that you want ready for your show or just up on your site in one area, which is way easier to see everything, especially if you wanna load it in for certain sales. If you wanna like do your next like big live stream, you can preload, okay, these are the next 50 products I'm gonna do and then you're ready to go. Now you go view drafts, this is, they don't automatically go up. As you can see here, I'm missing some information. I didn't do all the information in the, the first one, but you see the headphones are all ready to go. The only thing we're missing is a photo for that. So let me show you what I would do in the app, but basically these are all ready to go. If you wanted to have numbers instead of titles, because I know a lot of people like to do that instead, what you want to do on the spreadsheet instead is when you get to title here, you're just gonna have to type in one and you're gonna have to type in two. You have to type in numbers here instead and it'll be a mystery for the viewers. You can put in the description what it is so you can keep track for yourself. And also when the number comes up for the viewer, it doesn't really matter if they know what the description is because now it's showing up on the show. But that is how you choose all your numbers for like 50 mystery items on this live and that's how you can do that both ways. So super easy to change back and forth depending if you're doing kind of a mystery live or if you're actually telling people what you're selling beforehand. And obviously if you're doing a, for a live, you would switch this from buy it now to auction and get it ready for that live. So super easy to do it. Let me show you now how I take the photos in the app for each of these listings. A little bonus information here, if you're someone who wants to promote your show and you have a lot of content to post on TikTok or Instagram or wherever it is and you want to make sure you're getting it posted everywhere at once, when I post one piece of 
content promoting my show, I usually post it on TikTok or Instagram, and now I use this program, will automatically post it with no watermark to the other social medias. So this has been something really helpful to speed up my workflow for that. I love this repurposed IO pro program. You can see here, this is what the workflow looks like. I have all my TikTok posting to my Facebook, TikTok to my YouTube shorts. So basically everything is set up automatically. So I don't have to worry about the struggle of posting multiple pieces of content everywhere. I can just have it all set and done for me. It automatically does it. You can go back and look at your old pieces of content as well. But if you are looking for a faster way to speed up your workflow, I dropped an extra 10% discount down below and you can check it out down below with the link. Definitely recommend it. All right, back to our inventory here. We just made those drafts here on the computer. So you're gonna go on inventory and then you're gonna hit drafts. You can see all the ones that we just made on the computer are gonna show up here. So what you wanna do is go here and choose the one that you just made. So headphones is the one I completed here. So you click on that and you're gonna be given an option to basically look at all that data that we just put in. You would normally manually have to go through and type this all out and it just takes way longer than doing it all in one spreadsheet. But I wanna click on photo and video up here and then click on take photos. I usually just for my leaf dry stream, just go here, take a quick photo of the product like this. And then you can see it gets added to the bottom here and I just do add photo. I just do one example photo. But it all depends on what you're doing. You can't pre-take photos and put it in that URL tab on the spreadsheet if that's easier for you as well. But I like to do it this way. I can hit publish, the photo is there, it's ready for the live stream, easy as, and I have all my listings ready to go, ready up for my next live stream. Let me know if you have any questions down below and I'll make follow-up videos and I'll see you in the next one.